Now, Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel and Picasso's Les Demoiselles are all considered to be iconic pieces of art. But what makes, what is it that makes the masterpieces? Well, that's the question our arts editor, Will Gompertz, will be tackling in our Google Hangout later today. And Will is here to tell us. And Will, of course, got to ask you first question, what on earth is a Google Hangout? <laughs> Zeno, it's so simple. <laughs> it's, it's like a web chat. Have you ever done FaceTime or anything like that or Skype? Oh, don't ask me. Yeah. You know, it's, so it's, it's, a, it's a video camera embedded into a computer, which has somebody can talk through and to somebody else with a video camera embedded in their computer. So that's a sort of a one-to-one -one experience. The Google Hangout just explodes that, so it's much more of a chat. It's sort of TV meets the internet. So I'm in a studio with three or four different people talking about iconic paintings, and then we have different people from around the world, which is quite fun, mm. contributing to that discussion. They're part of the programme for half an hour. That discussion. So what is the topic for today's discussion, then? The topic is, what happens when a work of art becomes so famous it becomes iconic. Can we still see it afresh? Or is there something that happens which means we can no longer appreciate it like we once would? There's a great story in this piece by an artist called Matt Collishaw, who was one of the young British artists. And he had this problem. He wanted to go and see uh, Velasquez's very famous Las Maninas painting. Um, but he knew all about it, and he'd read all about it in books, but he'd never seen it in real life. And so I asked him how he went about trying to see it afresh, as, as if he'd seen it in the artist's studio, for the first time. Velasquez, Les Meninas, I wanted to see it pure without any of the interference that's generally associated with looking at an icon. So I decided to fly blindfold to Prada Museum in Madrid to take my blindfold off for three minutes to uh, involve myself with this painting, to put the blindfold back on and travel back to my studio in London, having seen nothing else on my journey other than the inside of the frame of this icon. So, Zane, a very simple, if you want to get involved, go to our website at BBC News where you can watch it, or if you want to contribute, go to hashtag via Twitter, BBC Art Chat. I should do that right away, Will. Later. I look forward to it. Thanks very much indeed, Will Gompertz, there, our arts editor.